hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new you are welcome if you are an old subscriber you are also welcome it's nice to see you guys once more again if i can't see you guys but it's nice to have you so guys i'll be sharing some few things that i learned that if i had the opportunity to go back and come back again to study in russia i won't repeat these mistakes because i learned it while i was already in russia so if you're already in russia and you still have time you can still avoid this mistake but if you're not yet in russia and you are planning to come and study or to do anything in russia this can also help you this mistake you can try to avoid it one is not learning the language because a lot of students when they come to study in russia they try not to put more energy in learning the language which is very important you need to learn this language because it's their native language you are from unless in your country they speak this language but if they don't speak this russian language or the foreign language wherever you are located try and learn the language it will help you to be able to communicate with the people it will help you to understand the cultures it will help you to understand what's going on around in the country to help you to be good in your academics especially when you are studying in that language you can be able to understand what the lecturers are teaching you and you can be able to defend your knowledge you can be able to say what you know and say it in a way that everybody can understand you very well advantage of also learning the language is that it can help you to go further in the country like you can explore more in the country because you know the language you easily know a lot of things about the country because almost of the things are being written in russian language or in that foreign language where you are not located so it's advisable advisable for you to learn the language number two is learning the constitution or will i say learning some of the common laws of the country as a foreigner here you came to a foreign country why should i learn the constitution why should i know the law of the country yeah but at the moment you are located in that country so you need to know some of the common laws that will help you to defend yourself or to protect you from getting jammed up in prison ignorance is not an excuse create as much as possible some time for you to be able to study the common laws that can help you and why it's important for you to study the constitution or to get updated with the law of the country is because as a foreigner sometimes there, there is some of the laws they will pass that will really favor you like for example i've been staying in russia so i've been keeping myself updated with the law as of two years ago it wasn't allowed for students to work with their student visa but as this current year, student can work with your student visa. If you are not updated with this news, if you don't get to know this news, you can be, you you will be outdated, and there are some opportunities that will come by, and you will just make use of it because you still have an outdated mentality that is telling you that it's not possible for you to work. So it's always good to update yourself with the law of the country so that you can be able to take advantage of some of the new things that comes out. For example, as of 2019, any student that graduated with a red diploma, which we call in my country, Nigeria, first class, is eligible to apply for resident permit, permanent residency in Russia. If you finish with red diploma, that you finish with first class, you have now the right to submit a document to be able to get your permanent residence. You see, most guys don't really know this because they don't acquaint themselves with the law. Once in a while, you just have to just go to your internet or Google, type new Russian laws about what are the latest Russian law, updated Russian law, all those things, and learn it. And you go back. It's okay. You don't need to spend the whole day studying the language, studying it. You know, you didn't come over here to study Russian constitution. Number three, guys, stop believing everything the old ones tells you. What do I mean by the old ones? Old ones are like those people that have already been in the country before your arrival. Yeah, the old students or the old occupants or the old residents or the anything. People that have been there before you, please avoid listening to everything they always tell you make your own research yes you heard me right make your own research this is very very important because most of these guys that are giving you some information most of their information are quite outdated and they didn't update their information so any information they are giving you now is what you are using which is already an outdated information you just get jammed and nothing you can able to do with this information because it's outdated and you'll be living your life through at that moment with this information that's why i'm not saying don't listen to them pay attention to whatever they say some of the things they do say are quite right because they have been living there before you but not everything and two it matters who is telling you this if it's someone that doesn't make research about what comes new in the country and doesn't go around to update himself 
the information he'll be giving you might be outdated so try guys to make sure that the information you get that you make your own research to back it up so that you can be able to do what you want because there have been this situation that i asked a guy what and what should i do about this the information he gave me was quite a good information but it wasn't the necessary information that i need at the present moment because things have already changed so i used those information that he gave me to do to go ahead with what i was doing and at the end i started regretting why i asked but at the end i didn't regret because he gave me the information he knew it was my fault that i didn't make research so i decided not to be doing that again so once i ask you a question you tell me i make some little research then i confirm before i continue which is very important so guys try to be making research try make it doesn't take a time it's not, it won't take you anything it's better to make that it's better to it's better to spend time make a research and know that when you start a process that at the ending you don't need to redo it again because imagine you started a process and you have gotten to the point you need to finalize it and you realize that it was all a mistake or the process has changed you get you get what i mean it's so frustrating so in order not to jam yourself in that kind of situation it's better for you to just spend a little time ask a lot of questions and make your own research number four try to associate yourself with the native people a lot of us when we come to this country and we see our federal country mates we try to spend most of our time with them we don't want to have anything to do with the native people we don't want to interact with them we just keep ourselves isolated from them it might be good sometimes but it's not always that good because you need to associate yourself with these people this is their country they know every part of it and they know what's going on and what's not going on especially when you want to start your own business in the country you really need a native person to tell you what and what not to do or what to do for you to be able to achieve your business and be successful so if you don't interact with them if you don't associate yourself with them how will you know this is their country. It's just like you coming to visit me in Nigeria. That's my country. I grew up there. I might not know everything, but there are some inform vital information that I know that I can really help you. So if you don't associate with me, how will you know that? You'll be working with the information you get on the internet, which might be quite right, correct? Yeah? Some information they put on the internet are right. But there are some informations that don't, are not out there. Only the people, the native people really know it. So if you don't associate yourself with them, if you don't socialize with them, you can't know it. Some of them are good. I'm not saying everybody is bad or everybody is good. No, but they are the good ones. Try and associate with them and they will really help you. These people are really open to help you. I, I'm telling you the truth. They are always open to help you. It just depends on how you present yourself to them. So not to go far from what I'm saying, it's very important to socialize yourself with them because it will really give you an upper hand advantage in whatever you plan on doing and also it will help you to learn the language very well especially when you start communicating with them people are going to have now a russian language or their native language those people are speaking in wherever you are in wherever you are located so it's very important for you to socialize with them very profitable for you in all ways so try and socialize with them so guys, I think these are the basic information that I think everyone needs to know when moving to a location that you have not been like locating to study or to work. I think these are the vital information that you really need to know. And if you have any information that you would like to share, don't forget to write down in the comment box for others to also know. Cause me too, I'll be interested to know those things. Thanks guys again for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Take care of yourself. Bye.